In this video, I will talk about the data tab of the Dream Factory admin console. So the data tab is pretty self-explanatory. It's where you can view all of the data that is stored in the database. And you can have, of course, as many databases as you want, and you hook those up in the services tab. So each database has a REST API, and you can create, read, update, and delete records via that REST API, and all of that data gets stored in whatever database that you have. So a couple things to point out. The list of databases here will be SQL databases. They can be either the local databases, like this local SQL database, which runs inside of Dream Factory as part of the install, or it can be an external database that you connect to uh, via the API. So you can run, for example, your own external database, maybe it's Oracle or MySQL, whatever it is, outside of the Dream Factory server, connect to it by proxy, and the schema, as well as the data, are exposed in the Dream Factory admin console. So you can see it and manipulate it straight from this UI. So let's walk through a very simple example. The local SQL database here has four tables. Uh, if you want to see this yourself, you can go into the Apps tab and import the address book application, the sample application, and this schema will be automatically created for you. So pick your database, pick your table, make sure I'll go to contact, and click to set the service. So this will generate all of the records. The rest of this is pretty easy to understand. You have a bunch of actions. You can go to different pages to view the records. You can go next, back, and so forth. You can create records, save records, revert the page, delete records. You can toggle all records to manipulate if you want to delete records on mass and so forth, and you can apply filters as well to filter the records. So that's all there is to select a record, click in here. You can edit the record with this icon. You can also see relationships, which I'll show you in a moment. So that's all there is to it. The fields that get displayed here, you can decide which fields you want to see or not see. So if I uncheck, for example, image URL, because I don't care to see that, when I go back into the view, that field will be gone here. So Looking into a particular record, you can obviously edit a record. You can go here and make some changes and then save it, revert it, close it, delete it, etc. I'll close this out now. Uh, and that's really all there is. You can select multiple records uh, and so forth. It's all quite easy. You can also look at relationships. So here is a contact in our database, and this relationship, the schema, has some related records by foreign key. So let's for, look, for example, at contact info related by contact ID. So what this is is a child table that has a bunch of child records, like a related list with different phone numbers and contact information for this particular person, John. And these child records as well, you can navigate through. You can create additional ones. Uh, you can edit them, all that good stuff. Click here to edit the record. So this is a good way to, you can think of it as a data browser. It's a way of seeing your data uh, on the back end. You can use it for many purposes, uh, sometimes just to see the data or to add records, delete records, and all that good stuff. Uh, so that is about it uh, for the data part of the demo. And definitely check out all of the other screencasts about all of these other features that are in the admin console on the Dream Factory YouTube channel uh, as well. Thank you.